Hi guys! So today I watched a movie on Netflix called The House is October Built. I had originally seen this movie about two to three weeks ago, but I decided to give it a little rewatch today because I knew that I wanted to do a review on it, and since I've only seen it once, I really wanted to try to jog my memory. This movie came out in 2014 and stars Bobby and Mikey Rowe, who also directed the film. The House is October Built follows a group of five friends as they travel across the southern states in search of the world's most extreme haunt, a haunt being a haunted attraction or a haunted house, if you will. The haunt that they are in search of is called Blue Skeleton, and they decide to stop at a couple of haunts along the way. And let's just say, without spoiling anything, these people end up getting way more than they initially asked for. Now this movie is a found footage movie, but I think that the found footage setting really works for this movie. It's sort of shot like a mockumentary, and it includes a couple of interviews with some workers at these attractions, because every attraction that we see in this movie is an actual real-life attraction that you can visit today. And the workers that are interviewed are not paid actors, they are actually people who work at these attractions. During the interview, the cast decides to address rumors that have been spread across the internet for ages now about these attractions, including ones that there's no background checks on the workers, they use actual human remains in some of these places, and that there have been cases of either the workers or visitors dying on site. It's really interesting and a little unnerving to see what some of these people say. A lot of these workers take a lot of pride in their jobs, and there's one worker in particular who always sticks in my mind. They ask him how far is too far when it comes to scaring people, and this guy ends up saying that his goal is to do everything short of killing the visitors. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there is a lot of stuff that I can think of that is short of killing someone that is absolutely horrifying, so just hearing that is pretty, pretty terrifying. I like that this is a found footage horror movie because it does take us inside the attraction and since these places are real, you know, they're not staged, they're not sets that have been built and these aren't paid actors, it really takes us inside and gets to show us sort of what the characters that we're following, what they're feeling. We get to see their genuine reactions to what's going on around them, and I think that that's a pretty creative way to do it. They could have very easily have just built a haunted house somewhere on a soundstage, paid a couple of people to come in and jump out at them, and called it a day. But no, these, were, these filmmakers decided to make this movie as realistic as they could, and I think that it really works for them. I will say that this movie does move a little slow. It does take a little bit of time for it to get scary, but I will promise you that once things start turning around on the characters and things start going a little haywire, it gets creepy and it stays creepy <laughs> throughout the rest of the movie. A lot of the movie actually takes place inside the RV and we get to see the characters' interactions with each other as they move from place to place. Now some people may look at this and be like, why is this important? It's not them inside the attractions. It's not them being terrorized by these people. Why does it matter? Well, if you think about it, we get to see these characters. We get to learn a little bit more about them. We get to, you know, get to know them. We also get to know about the community that surrounds these horror attractions. We get to hear about more than what we are seeing on camera. These characters spend a lot of time discussing either what they have seen or what they want to see, or they address the rumors that they interview the people about. So it's really interesting because you get to learn a lot about this whole, you know, sub-world, I guess, of real-life horror, because this is a real community that exists. And I never knew that the haunt attraction, you know community was actually so big and so involved. I never even knew that this whole ordeal existed. So thanks to this movie, I now know a lot about this and I'm actually really interested. I really want to go to a couple of the attractions that are featured in this movie because oh my god do they look scary. I typically like my horror to stay on the screen though because I don't really fare well with real life horror, but 
it seems like a fun time. Actors in this movie are not, you know, big name Hollywood actors. They're all just sort of friends with the director in real life, so we get this really nice chemistry that we get to see with them on camera. And so it makes not only the interactions with each other, but the interactions with the attractions and the workers as a whole um, more genuine, makes it a little more terrifying. Overall, I really, really enjoyed this movie the first time that I watched it. I watched it alone at like two in the morning in the dark down in my living room. And the entire time I'm sitting there and I'm like looking behind me into my dining room, I'm like, is a guy in a clown mask going to be back there? Oh gosh, because the more that these people start messing with the main characters, the more you're like, oh my god. I don't know what I would do in that situation. This just sounds terrifying because some of the people who start messing with these main characters are completely off the wall. They're just, I don't want to use the word crazy, but they're crazy for lack of a better word. And it's just, it's scary because they often talk about how they will do everything short of killing people, but you wonder, are they gonna go off and just, you know, kill these characters right here on screen? What are they gonna do? Are they gonna torture them? Are they gonna leave them alone? Are they just gonna get up in their face and just laugh at them like workers at these places tend to do a lot? You know, what's gonna happen? And it's just sort of terrifying. Now I will say that as much as I'm ranting and raving about this movie, there is one thing that I didn't like about it, and that is the ending. The last 10 minutes are just sort of weird. They're sort of slow and not even in the good slow like I was talking about the rest of this movie. The last 10 minutes are just so different from the rest of the movie and both times that I saw this movie I found myself disinterested and just sort of hoping it would end. Now maybe if they had done the ending differently or maybe had the same outcome but had the setup to the outcome differently. I don't know but I just really did not care for the last 10 minutes of this movie, but I think that's mainly my only complaint with The House is October Built. But like I said, I really enjoyed this movie. I sort of think it's sort of a hidden gem on Netflix. It doesn't have a lot of hype surrounding it. It's been out for about two years now, but I really think that it deserves more recognition than it's getting, because for a found footage movie, I think it's pretty decent considering most found footage movies like Paranormal Activity, Cloverfield, they're sort of cheesy, but this movie does not bring cheese. It brings genuine terror. So if you guys are interested, The House is October Built is still currently streaming on Netflix. I don't know how long it's been on there, so I don't know how long it's going to be on there, but I've checked and they're not taking it down in July, so you have this entire month to check out this movie. And if you do end up seeing this movie, let me know what you think, because I think that this has become one of my favorite horror movies, honestly. Um, it's not the greatest thing in the world, I'll admit, but for a small film with a small budget and with it being a found footage movie, that's all stuff that it has stacked against it. I think it does really well and it packs a little bit of a punch. So if you end up watching this movie, let me know what you think of it. I'm Heaven, I do horror, and I recommend you see The House is October Built.